As we come upon Memorial Day, it's important that we remember the brave men and women who served our country. But is a career of service right for you or a member of your family? Joining me is Sergeant James Farley, a recruiting and retention non-commissioned officer who's been with the New York Army National Guard for 10 years. WBBZ joins the New York State Broadcasters in supporting the Guard. Welcome, Sergeant Farley. Thank you for having me. What, oh, you're so welcome. What is, the, what is the mission of the National Guard in general? So the New York Army National Guard uh, supports um, the governor of each state. So we do things like Hurricane Sandy, Katrina, 9-11, Snowvember, um, right here in our hometown, October Storm, um, things like that. So we, do, we have a dual mission. So we have a state and a federal mission. So we have the state missions, like uh, as we remember these past couple years, the COVID mission. So we had, we had that mission, uh, which we were uh, set up the Javits Center in New York City. And we also had um, roughly 4,000 guards member um, on, on active duty uh, at uh, local sites like your uh, COVID vaccination sites and COVID rapid testing sites. So we, we have a dual mission, the state side, but we also have a mission overseas, a federal mission that we can be part of. Um, so we have uh, been part of um, the last 20 years fighting terror um, over in the Middle East. I don't think people are just aware of how, how much you do and how many different functions you perform. What would, what would be a benefit that if somebody was listening in, like I said at the beginning, maybe it's the right career for mm -hmm. the person, uh, the viewer, or somebody in their family, uh, what would you tell them? What were the benefits of joining the Guard? Well, I joined the Guard at 33. Um, I'm Buffalo grown, typical North Buffalo Italian Irish. Um, and. Uh, I was 280 pounds when I joined the guard. The only time I ran is when the ice cream truck came around. <laughs> so I was married with a kid and uh, I was stuck in what I call the Buffalo rut, labor pizza collections, labor pizza collections. And uh, I was like, what am I doing with my life? Um, so I said, okay, Lord, I gotta figure this out. So I prayed about it and uh, I got an email uh, from the National Guard that said, join the National Guard. So I said, okay, let me, let me check this out. So my uncle actually did 25 years Buffalo PD, 25 years in the National Guard and retired with two pensions and uh, sitting on 7,500 a month doing nothing right now. So my uncle said, you know, check it out. So I did at 33 um, and it was the best decision I made in my life. Um, and I'm going to be 43 this year. So in coming up 10 years, I made, I'm making uh, $75,000 a year, 100% medical, dental, eye, 30 days of paid leave a year and a federal pension. So um, I, I would say one of the biggest benefits is that you're able to stay local, right? And uh, pursue a dual, um, simultaneously pursue your civilian career and, and your education at the same time. So if, if you have a son or a daughter, or if it's just you, and you're looking to um, bolster your career, the New York Army National Guard will help you pay for college 100% to any New York SUNY or CUNY school all while simultaneously um, serving in the Guard one weekend a month, two weeks in the summer. Wow, that's a lot. Well, I'm glad I asked you that question, but that, that's a lot of benefits. I mean, if people, as you said, want to have a, and it's rewarding. We want to talk about the rewarding part too. Absolutely. And you're doing I mean, something so worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely. You're serving your local community, right? So you think about it. Um, I was born and raised here, so I put on my uniform and I'm able to go help in the local, nearing natural disasters, you know, help the elderly um, bring medicine during snowstorms, help them shovel snow off their roofs so their roofs don't collapse, help them shovel their driveways or, or bring them food. Uh, we were doing the floods in, on, on Lake Ontario, setting up uh, sandbags um, during uh, Hurricane Sandy in, in Long Island in the city. We, went, we were there um, helping that. So it's nice to be able to put on your, your uniform in your local community and help out, but it's also a benefit to be able to pursue your education in your civilian career at the same time. Okay, uh, as somebody's watching and saying, sign me up, what do they do? So they can uh, call me at 716-225-3721. Again, that's 716-225-3721. Um, or they can go on nationalguard.com um, and uh, they can look up the information and, and decide if, they, uh, if it's something that they want to do. What are the requirements? I mean, do you have to be a certain age, a certain, you mentioned your weight, which made me laugh. Do you, mm -hmm. Are there certain physical requirements so, so there is. to join? Yeah, there is. So um, 
you have to be between the ages of 17 and 39 um, in, in pretty good physical condition um, and uh, have either a GED, high school diploma, or uh, college credits. And what about training? I mean, how long do you have to train and how is it take place here or do you have to go to Washington or Albany so, or something like that? No, so there's actually three National Guard or three Army training posts. So the National Guard is a reserve component of the U.S. Army. So you have, um, so everybody trains the same. So you have the National Guard, Army Reserve, and Active Duty Army. So there's, um, there's training posts throughout the United States. So you have Fort uh, Benning in Georgia. Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Fort Leonardwood, Missouri, and uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. So your four tr basic training posts. Um, so typically, your, your basic training is your base training is ten weeks, and then your uh, AIT, which is your advanced individual training, that's your job training, whatever job you pick. Uh, that that's typically uh, three months. So you're looking at roughly six months that you would be gone. Uh, but for the benefits that you get, like right now, we're offering a twenty thousand dollar cash signing bonus. Uh, for select jobs, uh, if you score 50 or higher on the ASVAB, and uh, and on top of that, you get your education benefits. Plus, if you think about it, you're gone, and then you come back home locally. So, so you go to your training, in six months you're back home, and then you're pursuing your education at uh, UB or Buff State, uh, you know, SUNY Fredonia, Brockport for free, all the way to your bachelor's. Well, I'm so glad we found out all all this because we want people to understand how important it is, how necessary it is, and what good work you do. So thanks so much. Thank you, Sergeant James Farley, for joining us, and thank you for your service. Remember, you can give the National Guard a call at 716-225-3721 or go online at nationalguard.com. As we conclude this Memorial Day weekend edition of The Big Picture, we leave you with a short piece of the song, America the Beautiful as sung by Ray Charles. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.